I never really set out to be a DJ. I was always an artist and always trying to find a way to deliver my creativity to the public somehow. It kind of found me in that sense where I was searching for this thing that I knew that I was meant to do, but finding a way to kind of shine my light on people. Going into a record store, it's like digging for gold. I don't know what I'm looking for when I go into a record store. Like I'm gonna start somewhere and I'm gonna go through every single record. I know that every flip matters and that I wanna be thorough and that I wanna take chances too. It could be the next one that takes you to the next level. People don't know what they need when somebody enters a space and there's a DJ there. It's the DJ's responsibility to use their sensibility to figure out what they need. It's something that you feel that is right for the moment. That's why I dig for the music. There's a certain hospitality in DJing that I think is really special. The music that all these brilliant people have created, I'm kind of the servant to the people to deliver that joy when you're ready for it. Choosing music song by song for people, you know, two minutes by two minutes. There's this zone that you go into, it's just, it's hard to explain, but it takes over and it basically doesn't allow anything else to be in. When I am in a moment and I have hundreds of people rocking their bodies, I don't even know how to describe the elation in that moment. When somebody is sharing your joy to that level, I mean, you're not thinking about anything else. Your body is almost like moving by itself. The sound waves and the frequencies have that emotional and physical effect on people. Tapping into something that can, in a way, revisit feelings in time rather than perhaps skewed visual images of what happened in time. I'm not sure what else in the world is like that. That's what music does, and that's why people dedicate their lives to it. Mm -hmm.